guys and welcome to another kit review all right so today we're having a look at a kit from uh, mini art the kit number is 35126 and it is their us tank crew okay so in this kit you get five figures of us tank crew they all appear to be wearing the twill overalls although i think a couple of these are wearing the single pockets which are the late 43 version and this guy appears to be wearing the early i think version which was issued in the late 1930s not to marry because um as with all uniforms during world war ii there were a lot of mixing matching and you wore what you could get literally so what was issued you accepted it okay so this kit came out in 2012 and as i said you do get five figures of US tank crew in casual positions. Okay, so that's the box art. Really nice, nice facial features and details. So let's have a look at the rest of the box. On the side, Ukrainian, Russian, English, just the usual unassembled plastic model kit, glue not included. On the other side, two figure kits. One is the Soviet tank crew, and the other one is US officers, plus your unit warnings, 14 plus, and mini arts address in the Ukraine. On the back, you'll see this is your color callouts for the crew, okay? It also includes the part numbers as well. So this is basically your assembly painting instructions. Generic armored core insignia for US Army and your color chart so the color chart is something 11 colors and it is in Mr. Color, Life Color, Tamiya, Testers, AK Real Color, Humbrol, Ravel and Mission Models oh and Vallejo sorry missed that one that was on the end okay Ukrainian name English name and that's the box okay so i'll give you a shot of this and let's have a look inside and see what i just got out she comes one bag of screws nothing else in the box okay so give me a second i'll open this up and then we'll have a look and see what we got So, as I said, fairly basic, straightforward, two sprues of figures, a little piece of paper which has the sprue layout so that you know which part is which, and that matches with the diagram on the back of the box. Put that over there. Let's have a look at sprue number one. As you can see, there are three figures on here. Separate legs, separate arms, separate heads separate helmets and separate upper torso so let's have a look close up okay so important part is the faces so these faces are not too bad like they're not super detailed resin faces but i'm telling you right now they're not too bad at all there is as you can see the usual mold line flash on the torsos and on the legs okay so usual cleanup for figures but the hands clean up on the, around as you can see between the thumb and the fingers same on this one so same on all of them so a bit of cleanup on the mold lines but the detail as far as the uniform detail is concerned oops, sorry is really nice okay so as i said separate helmets oh that went out of focus sorry guys that was a bit bad so separate helmets several separate oh it is going out of focus sorry separate uh attachments for your belts etc 
okay but yes there is a bit of cleanup required around the mold lines on the, the figures okay so that's the first row Well, let's have it the other, the other one. So this one only has two figures on it. This guy's standing straight up. This guy's got his leg bent. 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 bent sorry. God, English went then. Ooh, bring her up. Okay, so face is exactly the same, but as you can see, clean up on the mold lines. Okay, so this is normal for any figure. Seems a little bit excessive for these ones, but you know, when you're making figures, you've got to expect things like this. You do get separate goggles, although I can see there's a fair bit of flash around that one. Okay, that is your commander's microphone, which has flash around it as well. So all the smaller parts also seem to have a little bit excess flash that needs clean up so there's a lot of clean up but the detail is quite nice and this would be a nice kit for a diorama or just to add to your um, US Army tank sitting on the shelf okay most tank kits nowadays they don't come with crew so buying one like this just adds a little bit, bit of depth to your display. Okay, so that's basically it, guys. Two sprues and not much else so there you go as i said fairly short review um i do like detail on them there is a fair bit of flash to clean up but it is what it is it can't be helped so there you go that is mini arts 135th scale us tank crew released in 2011 if i'm right 2011 sorry 2012 got that wrong and um, that's it so hopefully you got something from this one and as usual thank you for watching and until next time take it easy guys i'll see ya